The SS Badger made its maiden voyage of the year today, but the ship's future is still in jeopardy. Yeah, anything beyond the next couple of years, the car ferry runs between Manitowoc and Ludington, Michigan. But if the coal-burning Badger doesn't meet new federal environmental standards, it could soon be dead in the water by the end of next season. Fox 11's Cameron Clark brings us multiple views. As the SS Badger pulled into Manitowoc for the first time of the season, many on board and ashore are hoping those trips aren't numbered. It's a real cool trip going over there for four hours and that. Ludington is a beautiful city over there. And to lose it, there'd be a lot of people disappointed. And a lot of business. About 100,000 people take the Badger every year, then throw in 250 jobs at Lake Michigan Car Ferry, as well as hundreds more created indirectly. A study showed the economic impact to be about $35 million for the communities annually. When you have that many people coming to your community in, in, in a summer uh, because of this, you take that away, that's a huge factor for all our businesses. The Badger is the only coal-burning passenger ship still in operation in the country. It still dumps the ash mixture from the coal into the lake, as it has for more than 50 years. The Badger uses 55 tons of coal each and every day, generating nearly four tons of ash. That's more than 500 tons in the nearly five-month season. Someone is always there to tell you, well, it's not a dangerous amount, but it, this is like a piggy bank that everyone drops a little bit in, and they all say the same thing. And you can't keep filling that piggy bank uh, without a problem. While the Badger has obeyed the law, the Clean Water Act passed in 2008 will no longer allow the dumping starting in 2013. The company has already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars looking at alternatives from different fuels to transporting the ash on shore. The repower for the diesels was estimated at 16 million and the ash retention system would be somewhat less, but there's ongoing costs. Company president Robert Manglet says they've been working with both cities with many options on the table, from seeking grants to possibly raising prices. He says he's very optimistic. That we're going to continue selling in 2013 and beyond. Hopefully good for the communities and the area's largest resource. In Manitowoc, Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News.